All right, Dylan Beard. So coming off the first round, one to meter hurdles, I mean, qualified through to the, the next round. How did it feel out there for you? Uh, no, I felt real aggressive, real powerful and strong out there. Uh, definitely a little sloppy over one and that kind of uh, nothing changed the race for me per se, but it was a uh, different mentality after that. So it was just more so get back down and finish the race. But other than that, uh, I'm glad I got the, you know, got the job done top two in the heat uh, and live to, live to run on Thursday, another 10 hurdles. I know you've been here a couple days. Was there any anticipation to finally get, you know, step foot on the track? Oh, most definitely. I, I've been ready to go since probably Friday or Saturday. And, you know, just kind of building up. It's like, you really want to run, really want to run. And that was what was going on for me. And finally today, uh, it was still had that same uh, kind of ready to run anticipation. But as soon as I got here, I was calm and ready to go. How do you feel about the fact that there's two days between the heats and then the semifinals? Uh, beforehand, I was, uh, I typically like to get it back to back. You know, I like to, I wish we could have it all on the same day, if I'm being honest. But um, I'm actually glad I was expecting to run a little faster, so I, I was going to appreciate the break. But I'm still glad how I ran. I'm still going to use these days to rest and recover. What's it been like with all the attention that you've gotten since it was? <laughs> um, it's been a lot differently. Uh, not shift my mentality, but it's just a lot to think about a little bit. It's just like, uh, you know, I kind of wanted to stay under the radar a little bit, run my race and do everything. But I think it just uh, keeps me, gives me integrity in, in everything I do, uh, whether it's on the track or off the track. So, I mean, at the end of the day, it's a blessing. I'm thankful for it. Have you got any more sponsorships or anything? Uh, no, mm -hmm. no, yeah. <laughs> Um, what about, you know, what's the situation with, with the Walmart and the work there? Are you stepping back at all? Oh, yeah. So, I, you know, I stepped away to obviously be here. Took yeah. a day, a few days prior to this as well to, you know, get my mind right, get my body right, make sure I'm getting enough sleep and recovery. And, um, I mean, after the trials, I plan on being right back there first week in July. So nothing's just changed except I'm out here in uh, Eugene and just stepping away from work for a little bit. Where, now, where, where do you work at? Work at well, Walmart? Walmart. Where uh, at? Super Center 5254 in Wake Forest, North Carolina. Thanks. <laughs> my, my, so like, a, you know, World Athletics, you know, if you win a gold medal at the Olympics, they're going to 50K mm. for the winner. How much would that change you and your life if, for $50,000? Uh, I mean, I, I think that changed anybody's <laughs> life. I mean, especially, you know, me working. Uh, I mean, that'd be big. I mean, I, I wouldn't even know what to think to do with that much money anyway, but um, It'd be big to have. I mean, that's a big step in the Olympics. I know this is the first time they're paying uh, track, maybe any athletes for the Olympics track and field specifically. Yeah. So, I mean, that's a big opportunity. I mean, I would, that's amazing if you know, whoever, whoever can win that. Hopefully it's myself. I can make it there. But I think that's just amazing for whoever can get there. What do you do at Walmart? I work in the deli section. Nice. Yeah. How long have you been doing that? Uh, I started in October. Uh, I think that's eight months. Eight, yeah, just eight. to kind of make ends meet, kind of help with training and yeah. all that stuff? Just yeah. So uh, pretty much that's just so I can, uh, you know, make track and field my own thing. I mean, I have the support of my family, but anything track and field related, I, all my funds pretty much go to that. Have you reached out to Walmart for uh, <laughs> uh, not, not directly. I mean, I'm just I'm just glad they're working with my schedule and, uh, you know, flexible with me doing everything. And it's just working out like that. Yeah, I saw you guys signed an apparel deal with Track Barn. Is that true? Or what's kind of the deal there? Uh, so we, uh, how, how would you explain that? Oh, it's uh, just... Hey, I don't know how to explain yeah, it. Yeah, I don't know how to explain it, but I mean, he's, he's, he, uh, Track Barn definitely uh, supports us in what we're doing, trying to you know, go to the Olympics. And yeah, just uh, they gave us some gear, you know, we represent them, they'll represent us, and it's kind of a, just a mutual thing we got going on. So when did that start? Uh, I'll be, uh, I'll be honest, I don't, I don't quite That's remember. Since indoor season though? Oh, no, no, this is it's pretty before, recent, yeah. like maybe within a uh, month or so, about a month ago. Okay. Yeah, uh, we got everything together. Uh, a, lot, a lot of us to wear this stuff. And, yeah. I know David's not your coach anymore. Hey, good um, job, man. I know he's not your coach anymore. I'm not sure if you still have a relationship with him, but if you do, has he given you any advice on how to handle trials? Oh, yeah, me and Coach Oliver, we got, we got a good relationship. Oh, yeah. he, I, I, he, just, he just texted me a minute ago, like, yeah. good job. He's supposed to be here, I think, sometime later today. But, yeah, I, I keep in good contact with Coach Oliver. I mean, I mean, he, he helped me get to this, you know, you know, prior to me being with Coach McCord, he got me to this point. So I definitely keep in contact with him. He always, he tells me everything. He just told me now, stay clean over the hurdles. <laughs> so yeah, we got a good, good relationship. What, 